Hey guys, I know you're tired of hearing me talk about soap, but it's going to be relevant for when I make my shampoo bars, and getting my soap making skills down is um, crucial for that. So, okay, um, I'm thinking about making conditioning bars too. Let's see how that goes. This is my lemon cream soap here. Let me try and. You see a little speckles in it. You can say it's vanilla, but it's not. It's the benzoin. And it's because um, I use fresh lemons and I have lemon rinds in there. The lemon zest. I don't know if you can see it or not. Little. Yeah. The little, little orange specks. That's the lemon zest. So. I just took this out of the freezer and it's quite cold. And the other ones are over here in their molds. Yes, I did some bees. I'm trying to mold these. Let's see. Come here, Brianna. And get me a helper here. She can do the video while I do the unmolding. This bar I'm going to cut up. It's not even, so it is what it is. And I'm going to unmold these. These soaps are the um these soaps are baggy method. I did the baggy method. I used 15 ounces of grated soap this time with nine weighed ounces. Now you have to understand when I say 15 ounces, that is 15 weighed ounces. I use my scale here to weigh the, the grated soap out which could take anywhere from three or four bars being grated to weigh out so I used 15 weighed ounces I also took um, say like a plastic container like this and put it on the scale and poured water in it until it said nine ounces on the screen that is weighed ounces because if you lose use liquid ounces you end up using more water so I'm just unmolding these these little specks here that's benzoin and then these lighter specks are actually the grated um, lemon peel, the, the rind of the lemon. So I have three bees. Yay! That I'm going to unmold. And these have been in the freezer for probably about four hours. And they hardened really quick. I could have took them out sooner than that, but I chose not to. And just to show you how easy they pop out here. I don't have to do much but push to pop these out. Oops. These are going to sit here. Again, these are the baggy method. Baggy method soaps. They smell good, don't they? You can say yes. Yes. Okay, so. These are baggy method um, lemon soap. If you cut this in half, this would probably be two bars of soap here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm going to cut these into separate bars. And this, I used the, um, my mini mold for this. Probably weighs about a pound. Oh no, let's see how much it weighs. I'm not sure. Let's wait till the scale sets out and put this on it. Now it weighs 10 ounces and 5 eighths. 10 and 5 eighths. Yeah, 10 and 5 eighths ounces. Okay, so that's not bad. I can get some bars out of there. I don't know how make how much they're on way. They're gonna be pretty thin though, so. Um thank you, camera girl. So yeah, we got the um, got the bees out. I wanna see if these shrink. A Thomas, um a friend of mine here on YouTube as, you know, wanting to make soap here. She pointed out to me that, you know, with these green soaps over here that maybe it's a matter of water and evaporation that caused them to shrink. And I would say that that is true except for the fact that they still feel pretty moist and creamy when, you know, I wash with them so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so, in the baggie, I think it was, it's she could have a point there on the evaporation but I'm thinking that it's just a matter of evaporation not not a matter of evaporation but a matter of um, heat the pop method 
cut, brought the soap to one hundred to two hundred and ten degrees, and it probably would have kept going if I didn't take it off the heat. With this method, when I stuck the thermometer inside the bag, it told me that the soap um, was about 163 degrees. With a little bit of cooling, that went down to about 153, and then I put them in the mold and put them in the freezer. So, 15 ounces of grated soap with 9 ounces of what ended up being the juice of two lemons and water. This also has um, cream in it. It's got cream, essential oil, benzoin, lemon rind, the zest of the lemon, and um, lemon juice. And they smell like heaven. Oh my god. Now the thing that I'm kind of getting upset about here is, and I'm not really upset because it, it really does make them look cute. Here, I'll zoom into one for you. You see the little specks on it? You would look at it and think it's vanilla specks, but you could do that. You could put some vanilla in there, have a vanilla lemon cream soap, but this isn't vanilla, it's benzoin. See the brown spot there? That's benzoin powder, and no matter how much I mix it up, it stayed grainy, and so it just separates and dis disperses in here, but it preserves the soap really nicely, so I'm not going to worry about it that much. Aesthetically, I think they're fine. Um, I have washed with them. I made a little soap ball here. And I've weighed my soap ball. This ball has been sitting out for about five hours the amount of time that this soap has been in this soap's been in the freezer. So um three fourths is what it said when I rolled it up and three fourths is what it says five hours later. So let's weigh some of these. We weighed the big one that was ten and five eighths, right? That's four and seven eighths. For the round one there. The round bar. And let's weigh the bees. It's four and three fourths. That's four and three fourths. Well, that's pretty good measuring on my part. If they all come out to four and three fourths on the bees, then I know I pretty much got them good. Ah, see? Four and five eighths. But I knew that one was going to be a little less because it, I didn't quite fill the mold all the way. But it happens. But you know what? They're pretty much even. So, pretty good. Alright, so that's the bagging method. Again, I did this in the bag, not in the pot. Those are in the pot. This is bag. 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 Now, I have what would be six soaps out of the bagging method. And that's 15 ounces but you know what I think using more soap with the nine ounces of water works just fine but we'll see if it shrinks all right later people